When at the Roslyn, this beautiful historic hotel, you have to go to Atlas New World Bistro and my father's place. Let's go. Yeah. Everywhere I go, oh, I can stand up. I We're at the Atlas New World Bistro, and joining us now is Chef Vivek. Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Welcome to Atlas New World Bistro. We are open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner daily, and uh, we, we serve global cuisine in here. Now, global cuisine, I know that um, you're originally of Indian descent, correct? Yes. And you started becoming a chef because you and your mom used to love cooking shows. Absolutely. And... Uh, we started cooking together, we'd watch cooking shows together, and that inspired me to get out of the framework of being an engineer, where most of my families are, and wanted to become a chef. Yes. Now you're still kind of engineering because you're putting things together, Absolutely. right? You're building things from scratch. Exactly. So I like that. I've looked at the menu several times, and some of the things are like quite interesting. Like some of the things um, I get out when I go out to the Hamptons, like a lobster roll with fresh mango. Yeah. What is it about a lobster roll that um, makes it so fresh and delicious here. Absolutely. So what we do is we we were we took a little bit of a Japanese inspiration here because we're a global cuisine restaurant again, and we we make a sushi roll with some uh, fresh avocado, and then we do a nice fresh mango salad with the lobster. We procure our lobster locally. We get Maine lobster on a daily basis. We uh, we have good local purveyor that brings this to us fresh every day. And then, so it's absolutely fresh and delicious. Wonderful. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to go over to this category. Uh, tell me about this. Tell me about your lamb chop with cowboy butter. Tadka? Tadka? What does tadka? Tadka means tempering in, okay. in, in, uh, in Hindi, in India. And uh, lamb chops are cooked Cajun style. It's a local American source lamb chop, you know, Colorado, the way to go. And uh, we do it with a nice... Um, a tempering of garlic butter with some chili and spices and we pour it over the lamb and literally we serve it with a, a brush of scallion which we brush on top of the lamb chop at the table. Lovely. Yeah. Uh, what about, what is the twice cooked Kung Pao pork ribs? So this, this was an Indo-Chinese inspiration for me and uh, Indo-Chinese food is like Indian and Chinese food mixed uh, in India. We, it's a, it's a very, uh, predominant cuisine. People love it, especially in street food. So uh, locally sourced pork ribs, I cook them for, I braise them for about three hours in the oven and then pan toss them with some Kung Pao sauce with like a chili and garlic and ginger fresh sauce. Beautiful. Like a, yeah. Ginger is such, I think ginger is very refreshing. Absolutely. Right? It's like, it yeah. kind of makes you yeah. like, oh. Exactly. Right? <laughs> and it's so versatile. Okay. And, it, and it's got a very um, healing property to it. It's very good. We actually or? do a dessert here with okay. called a turmeric chai brulee. So it's a it's a play on a creme brulee with Indian chai with turmeric in it. Ooh. Yeah, and we serve it with a macaroon because in India you have chai with biscuit, with cookies. Okay. So we do a macaroon on top of it as a garnish. Oh, I love dessert. Okay, yeah. uh, pork steak with ancho cherry glaze. Okay, so that it was a, a Thai inspired dish where they do like a chili and a cherry sauce together. We do again um, a locally sourced pork steak that we sear off on our grill. We have a nice grill at the back and then we sear that off and do this, uh, do a nice ancho and fresh cherries. We make a sauce out of ancho cherries and fresh cherries, pour the sauce over and then do fresh granny smith apple on top as a garnish. Lovely. Yes. So different types of cuisine, all kind of blended together. You've got a Wagyu burger here too. Absolutely. Wow. American, that's the way to go. Okay. A nice, uh, satisfying American burger loaded with, uh, you know, American cheese, fresh Wagyu beef, and uh, tomatoes, onions, grilled, you know, to perfection, exactly. Now, because this hotel actually is a quality hotel, mm -hmm. um, it's a Hilton, uh, 
part of their tapestry collection, I believe. Absolutely. Is that kind of the, the reason that you decided to have a global type of restaurant here? So the, the, the great part of a tapestry collection hotel is that it gives you a framework to design the hotel. You're not bound by Hilton's rules and you can be a little more innovative. And that's why we wanted to, looking at the travelers that come into New York, we want to bring in cuisine that's comfort food for everybody. And speaking of it, comfort food, also exactly. you have Indian food here too, right? Absolutely. Butter chicken or what do you have? Yeah. What are some so of the we, items? We do butter chicken, we do a malai kofta, we do chicken tikka, paneer tikka. And uh, this is, you know, based off my previous experience being an Indian chef about eight years in California. Uh, we do a pop-up in the Atlas restaurant called Sitar. And we run that about five days a week for dinner. And we have a, a tandoori oven at the back too. I read a little bit about your background. Vivek, yes. it's very exciting to have you here at the Roslyn. Thank you. You know, your culinary skills, you know, precede you, and it's wonderful that you're here. Thank and you. I know that you enjoy working with all the different clientele that are traveling here, right? Absolutely. Meeting it's, people from all over the world. Absolutely. And then that opens up your mind to new cuisine, and that helps us evolve our menu every six months, every three months, through the season, looking at the clients, chatting with them. We kind of figure out what else we want to bring onto our menu. Well, I thank you very much for having us here. And I know Pleasure you're going to invite us. me into your kitchen, right? Certainly. I'm excited. Yes, yes. You're going to teach me how to do something, right? For sure. We're going to grill a lobster. We're going to grill a lobster? Absolutely. Never to done order. that before. All right. Absolutely. That sounds great. There you go. Stay tuned for more as we're joining Chef Vivek in the kitchen. So we have a, a main lobster, grilled lobster that we're doing today. Um, locally sourced, procured today. We we put in a skewer inside so it stays straight when we put it out to cook, right? So it doesn't uh, curl up. Exactly, right? Okay. So we have the lobster. I'm going to pull it right out, right? Take it right up to the grill. Okay. Look, give me a second, Sarah. And then get it right on the grill to get marks right on it. Okay. Yeah? And then once it grills nice, once it grills nicely, get some nice marks, a little bit of a char on it. Okay. Then we pull it out. We saute some we saute some vegetables with it. You're sauteing which, vegetables? Yeah. Is it ready? Yeah. Almost there. I got to finish in an oven. Ready? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. And put it right there. See okay. there? It's got a nice grill on it. I'm okay. going to finish it off in the oven. All right. Just to get an even cook on it. But then once we get the grill on it, we take it and put it in the oven. Thank you, Chef We served it some sauteed vegetables. Excellent. Okay. Oh, it's quite refreshing. For you, I'm just an ornament, something for your pride. 